Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel, Break the Bond. Hope you are doing well. So today we are gonna make a power bank using this 12 volt 7.5 AH sealed lead acid battery. This battery is more than enough for a power bank. So the power bank that you are going to make will be a powerful one and a long lasting one. So the main things that you require to make this power bank are a 12 volt 7 h or 7.5 AH sealed lead acid battery, an IC or transistor whatever you can call which has the name L7805CV hope you can see no, it's printed very lightly and finally you need a heat sink for the better heat dissipation of the IC so let us start the work right ahead at first we need to stick this heat sink on the side of the lead acid battery to stick that we are using a two side tab After that we need to fix the IC on the heatsink, for that we are using a nut and bolt. After fixing the IC on the heatsink, let's peel off the outer layer of the two side tab so that we can stick the heatsink on it. Okay, so now we can do the connections on the IC, but before that we have to study the 7804. We can see three terminals here. The first one is the input, the second one is the ground, and the third one is the output terminal. The input terminal of the IC is directly connected to the positive terminal of the battery, and the ground terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. For the output current, the ground terminal of the IC is taken as negative, and the output terminal of the IC is taken as positive. The speciality of the 7805 is that it can give a constant 5 volt output when an input of 7 volt to 25 volt is supplied. So let's first connect a red wire to the input terminal of the IC. Here a red wire is used because the input part of the IC acts as positive charge from the battery. After the red wire is connected to the input part of the IC, we need two black wires and one end of each wire need to be joined together. Then we need to connect the joint part of the black wire to the ground terminal of the IC. Ok so now it's time to connect the red wire at the output terminal of the IC because this wire carries the positive output current. The next thing that we need is a USB female port. We can see 4 wires at its other end, but we need only the black one and the red one. Its black wire is connected to one of the two black wires from the ground of the IC. And its red wire is connected to the red wire from the output terminal of the IC. Ok so now let's fix the USB female port on the top of the battery using a two side tab. So the next step is to connect the red wire from the input terminal of the IC to the positive terminal of the 12 volt lead acid battery.
And now let's connect the second black wire from the ground terminal of the IC to the negative terminal of the battery. So now it's time to test our power bank. We need a USB cable to connect to this USB female port. For that we are using a USB to micro USB cable. This power bank can supply a constant 5 volt output. Ok so now let's connect the smartphone and see whether it's working or not. The output current of this IC can go up to 1.5 ampere but the problem is that the IC suffers from heavy heat loss, hence a heat sink is always recommended. For example, if the input voltage is 12 volt and you are consuming 1 ampere, then 12 minus 5 into 1 is equal to 7 watt. This 7 watt will be dissipated as heat. So yes, our power bank is working perfectly fine as you can see. So friends this is it hope you find this video to be helpful if yes please show me love in the form of likes and comments please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel if you are interested and don't forget to click the bell icon you can find more interesting videos on this channel so take care and thank you so much for watching guys